Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be doing my most anticipated reads of 2024. Let's get going. So my first book is My Salty Mary by Cynthia Hens. This is the number three in the Mary Janie's trilogy. And so far we don't have anything other than it's like Pirates of the Caribbean meaning The Little Mermaid. So that will be interesting and it's expected to come out on August 20th. So my, ma my next book, it is from Madeline Miller, she's the author of Cersei, and she is working on a retail of the Shakespeare, The Tempest, so that's much, pretty much it for the summary. Um, so yeah, we have like no expected published when to ask, like when to be published, so... We have, we have no idea when it's coming out. <laughs> My next book is Heavenly Titan by Zillan J. Shell. This is the second book in The Iron Widow, which I loved, so I'm really excited about it. After suffering devastating loss and making drastic decisions, Zatan finds herself at the seat of power in her shell. But she also has learned that her world is not as it seems, and the relations about an enemy more daunting than Zatan imagined forces her to share her power with a dangerous man she cannot simply depose. Despite having vastly different ideas about how they must deconstruct the corrupt and misogynist system that plagues the country, Satan must join this man in the dance of truth and lies and perform the roles to perfection in order to take down the common enemy, who seeks to control them as puppets by dangling one of Satan's loved ones as a hostage. It's expected to come out on April 30th, but it's actually gonna sound what happened to her because she actually didn't really make that enough copy. So I'm really excited for this sequel. So yeah, she actually came only with 65k, uh, 65,000 copies. So and like the publishing only pays authors twice per year, which is like wow, that's kind of insane. So. Yeah, so it's really sad that she has to write another book because the publishing didn't really prioritize this book, so... But yeah, but I am really excited for this one. My next book is A Touch of Chaos by Scarlet St. Clair. This is the number four in Hades and Persephone saga. The world will burn. Persephone, goddess of Spain, never gets a chance to counter with Hades. God of the Underworld would change her life forever, but he did. A life of humanity and battles between gods, it's a world of Persephone we never thought she would see. To end the chaos, she must draw upon her darkness and embrace who she become, goddess, wife, queen of the underworld. Once Persephone made bargains to save those she loves, now she will go to war for them. And it's expected to come out on March 12th. And my next book is Song of the Six Bells by Judy Island. In the zoo, a talented young musician has no past and probably no future. Often at a young age, her kindly poet uncle took her in and arranged for an apprenticeship at one of the most esteemed entertainment houses in the kingdom. She doesn't remember much from, bef much from before entering the house of flowing water, and when her uncle is suddenly killed in a bandit attack, she is devastated to lose her last connection to her life outside of her in into a contract. With no family and no patron, Zhu is facing the possibility of a lifetime of servitude, playing the king of four novels that plays her talent with one breath and sneer, and her lonely social status with the next. Then one night, she is unexpectedly called to the garden to put on a private performance the Gamatic Duke Ming. The young man is strangely kind and awkward for nobility and surprises Zhu further with an irresistible offer. Serve as a musician in residence at his manor for one year and he will set her free of her indenture. And this is expected to come on April 23rd. My next book is Sam the Gong by Joanne He. This is Kingdom of the Three. Sequel in the Strike the Zyther. All her life, Zephyr has tried to rise above her humble origins as a known name often. Now she is a god in, in a warrior's body, and never has she felt more powerless. Her lord is Jin Ren, holds the Westlands, but her position is tenuous. In the north, the Empress remains under Mia Sam's thumb. In the south, the alliance with Sakana is in pieces. Fate also seems to have a different window in mind for the three kingdoms. But Zephyr has no intentions of respecting it. 
She will pay any price to see men succeed, and she will make her enemies pay, especially one dark haired, one dark eyed crow. She will do what when she will do when she finds out the truth that he worked for the South all along. Only the heavens know. It's expected to come on April 30th. My next book is The Gaze Upon a Upon Wicked by Molly and Shang. She has power over death, he has power over her. When two enemies strike a dangerous bargain, will they end the war or ignite one? And it's expected to come on April 16. My next book is The Crimson Crown by Heather Walter. Never, never on the wall who is the most villainous of them all. Snow White's dark queen tells her side of the story in this witchy imagining of the classic fairy tale from the author of Malice. Legend tell of a witch who became a queen, the heartless villain in the story of Snow White. But now the wicked queen is stepping out of Snow White's shadow to become the heroine of her own legend. Her real once upon a time begins when she, ju when she is just a leaf, a young witch who lives in the forest with her coven. The witches practice their magic in secret, hiding from the White King and his brutal war against witchcraft. Alith, however, faces a war of her own. Her magical gifts have yet to reveal themselves, and as the threat of the royal huntsman intensifies, Alith fears she will never become the witch her coven needs. As she uncovers the secrets of the White Court and those of her own heart, Alith must find the strength to transform into someone she never imagined she could be. A powerful witch, the very wickedest of them all. It comes out in July 30th. I am excited for this one. So this book actually already came out. I actually bought a copy. So this is So Let Them Burn by Camilla Cole. Fanny Minson can channel the power of the gods. Five years ago, she used the divine magic to liberate her island from its enemies, the dragon riding Langley Empire. But now, at 17, Farron is all powered up with no wars to fight. She's a legend to her people and a nuisance to her neighbors. When she is forced to attend an international peace summit, Farron expects that she will perform tricks, like a trained pet, and then go home. She doesn't expect her older sister, Alara, forming an unprecedented bond with an enemy dragon. All the gods claiming the only way to break the bond is to kill her sister. So, if, if they came out on January 16. My next book is Voyage of the Dead by Francis White. For a thousand years, Concordia has maintained peace between its provinces. To mark this incredible feat, the Emperor's ship embarks upon a 12-day voyage to the sacred goddess's mountain. Aboard are the heirs of the 12 provinces of Concordia, each graced with a unique and secret magical ability known as a blessing, except one gang manis, Pesetto, class clown, slacker, and all-round disappointment. When a beloved hair is murdered, everyone is, is a suspect, stuck at sea and surrounded by a powerful people without a blessing to protect him, odds of survival are slim. And this, ex this actually already came out, and it came out on January 18. I have just shut off my light, so I am sorry if the sudden change in lightning is throws me off. We finally have sunlight. Yay! So my next book, I also have this one as it came out. It's Dark Star Burning, Ash Falls White by Anneli Rangel. This is the second book in Song Like Flame. Several like night? Something like that? Song of several flame like night. There we go. Years ago, the last year colonizer invaded Lan's homeland and killed her mother in the search to uncover the last kingdom's greatest, greatest the location of its legendary four demon gods. Lan's mother devoted her life to destroying the demon gods, and Lan is determined to finish her mission. Yet, there are others searching for the gods, too. Zen knew his soul was forfeit the moment he made a deal with a demon god known as the Black Tortoise, but he's willing to lose himself if it means saving the kingdom and the goal he loves. But to crush the colonizer who has raided his land, he needs more power than even a single demon god can provide. He needs, he needs an army, and he knows exactly where he can find it, in the undead army his great-grandfather led decades ago. As I said, it came out, and it came out on January 2nd. And my second book is also another sequel, which I have read the first one. The first one is Guardians of the Dawn, Zara, and this is the sequel, uh, Guardians of Dawn, by, uh, Guardians of Dawn Amy by S.J. Jones. When the color blooms, the end of the world is not far behind. 
Lee Amy was always on the outside, outside of family, outside of friendships, outside of ordinary magic. The odd and eccentric daughter of a former and imperial magician, she has devoted her life to books because she finds them easier to read than people. Exiled to the outermost west of the modern realms, Amy has become the sole caretaker of a mentally ill father, whose rantings and ravings may be more than mere ramblings. They may be part of a dire prophecy. When her father is arrested for trespassing and stealing a branch from the sacred tree of the local monastery, Amy offers herself to the mysterious beast in the castle, who is in need of someone who can translate a forbidden magical text and a final cure for the mysterious blight that is affecting the harvest of the land. So you can see the Beauty and the Beast retail in this book as well. And it's gonna come on August 6th. My next book is All of Jane and Dragons by Anne Bashin. 18 year old Ayu Ying dreams of becoming a brilliant engineer just like her beloved father, but her life is torn apart when she arrives a moment too late to stop his murder and was lets the killer slip out of reach, left with only a journal containing his greatest engineering secrets and a Jane pendant snatched from the assassin, and Yang vows to take revenge into her own hands. But to survive, she must fight to stay one step ahead of everyone, and when faced with the choice between doing what's right and what's necessary, Yang will have to decide if her revenge is truly worthwhile, if it means going against everything her father stood for. It's expected to come on June 18. My next book is Minnesi Heist by Kathleen Schneiderhan. Welcome to Florence, 1517, a world of intrigue, opulent secrets, and murder. The Minnesi family rules the city from the seat of wealth, but the people of Florence remember the few decades they spent as a republic, free from the Minnesis and the puppet pop Leo X. Sharp women, 17 year old con woman Rosa. Cellini has plans for the pop and the Medici's, and more specifically, the mountain of indulgence money they have been extorting from the people of Tuscany. To pull off the Renaissance's greatest robbery, she will recruit a team of capable Sava the Tinkerer, Calhan and the Fighter, and Gilgamo, the irres irrepressible master of the skies, to top it all off, and to smooth their entrance into the fortress like Palazzo Medici, Rosa even enlists the reluctant help of a famed artist and local misanthrope Michelangelo. Old secrets resurface and tensions in the gang flare as the authorities draw closer and the Medici's news pulls tighter and run Tuscany and soft. What began as a robbery becomes a bid to save Florence from certain destruction if Rosa and company don't destroy each other first. That sounds exciting. It's expected to come on August 6th. My next book is a special by Sarah Beth Durist. So this is like a cottage core cozy fantasy. I'm not really into cozy fantasy. I have tried with Emily's like, Emily Encyclopedia of Fairies, Emily's Wild, which I didn't really like it in the end, but this one seems really interesting. Keela has always had trouble dealing with people and as a librarian at the Great Library of Elysium, she hasn't had to. She and her assistant Kaz, a Sennington spider plan, have spent most of the last seven, 11 years sequestered among the Empire's precious spell books, protecting the magic for the city's elite. But a revolution is brewing, and when the library goes up in flames, she and Kaz steal whatever books they can and flee to the faraway island where she grew up. She's hoping to lay low and figure out a way to survive before the revolution comes looking for her. To her dismay, in addition to a nosy and very handsome neighbor, she finds the town in disarray. And it's expected to come on July 9th. And my second book is the sequel of the book I have read, and that is The Scholar Alchemist by Kyrie Lee Baker. This is a sequel. And it's expected to come on October 1st. My next book is Goddess of the River by Vashinavi Patil. She is the author of Kaiki, and this is a powerful reimagining of the story of Ganga, Goddess of the River and her doomed mortal son and her doomed mortal son. So I again I have not read any of these, so I like the actual backstory, so I wouldn't be able to tell what's the truth in this retail, but it really does sound intriguing. 
a mother and a son, a goddess and a prince, a curse and an oath. A river whose course will change the fate of the world. Ganga, joyful goddess of the river, serves as a caretaker to the mysterious godlings who roam her banks. But when the addicts incur the wrath of a powerful sage, Ganga is cursed to become mortal, bound to her human form, until she fulfills the obligations of the curse. Though she knows nothing of mortal life, Ganga wears King Shantanu and becomes a queen, determined to regain her freedom, no matter the cost. But in a cruel turn of fate, just as she is freed from her binding, she is forced to leave her infant son behind. Her son, Prince Deva Vrata, unwittingly carries the legacy of Ganga's curse, and when he makes an oath that he will never claim his father's throne, he sets in a motion of a chain of events that will end in a terrible and tragic war. It's expected to come on May 21st. And my last book is The Dark Becomes Sir by Judy Island. Ruby Shen has always played the part of the dutiful eldest daughter, excelling in school, excelling in piano lessons, excelling in keeping her youngest sister Tina, focused on extracurriculars meant to impress college admission officers. But when a ghost from the spirit world attacks the sister in the middle of Uncumbra's Chinatown neighborhood, Rumi's life is plunged into a darkness that no amount of duty can free her from. Overnight, Rumi's sister seems to change. There are strange noises coming from her bedroom at all hours, and the once sweet, funny Tina has been replaced by something dark and unnatural. In order to survive, Rumi must not only face the horror taking over her community, but must also confront the horror within herself. So, and this is expected to come on October 1st perfect for Halloween, or uh, I should say Halloween month. So that is all the books I'm excited for 2024. So I think 2024 is a person to me, but who knows, it is still in January, so we will see how it goes. But also, also good news, I have just released my finale of my Firewave trilogy. You can buy, you can, the links will be down below if you're interested. Of course, you do have to read the first book. So also, I am also rewriting my first book. So that is exciting. I cannot wait for the rewrite. But yeah, let me know what your anticipated books of 24 are. And please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you on my next one. Bye!